In this video, you're gonna learn about the color target Unity event component inside the ZUI. Let's get started. The color target Unity event does exactly like the name implies. Whenever the color changes for the theme manager for the active variant, a Unity event will be triggered and it will uh, notify about the new color. And let me show you how this works. First of all, if you want to add a color target Unity event, you just right click in the hierarchy, Doozy, Themes, Targets, and you select color target Unity event. And that's it. And here we, we have our selected theme. Let's see what themes we have. So we have a general theme. This is the default theme. And my theme, this is a custom theme. And here I'm, I have several colors defined. I'm just gonna use, let's say the primary color. Let's get it like that. And yeah, right now I have three colors. So let's go to my theme. And whenever we change themes, you're gonna notice that the color also changes. What this component does, it also triggers a Unity event and sends whatever the new color is. So if the primary color changes, the new color will be sent via this Unity event. And you will ask yourself, okay, so why is this useful for me? Well, basically you can change anything and you can even notify your scripts with this. So you will, you will know at any point in time what color the current variant has. And let me show you an actual example. So let's create, let's say an image. This is very easy. And here I'm gonna drag and drop this image here. And I'm gonna select the dynamic color for the color. And you will notice that whenever the variant changes, this image, this image's color will get changed as well. Let's enter play mode and you'll just see it in action. That's the best way to, to understand how it works. Oh, of course we have our theme manager because it got instantiated and let's just change the variant check it out it just changes and i'm also gonna show you how it works in uh, in script so here i have an example script let's uh, let's open it in rider where is rider there you go so here I'm going to have a uh, public void and say um, on color, color change, change, and I say color, color, because uh, I need a uh, color um, parameter. And here I'm going to say debug.log, log. New color will be our color. Come on. Actually, I'm just going to say color, not new color. All right. Let's save this. Let's come back to Unity. Let's wait for it to compile. And uh, let's check it out. All right. So uh, on our color target Unity event, let's also add our script. So Example script, there you go. Let's drag and drop it here. And let's say on color change, that's it. So basically we will be changing the images color and we will also be um, sending to the console whatever the new color is. So let's enter play mode. All right, so right now I've seen the color change and let's check it out. So themes. And whenever I'll change the color, how can I show this to you? Let's clear this and let's change it to number two. And you will see I have the color here because this is what the script uh, sent to the debug log. So as you can see, I'm changing the color. And basically this is how it works. Let's remove collapse. So here, one, two, three. Basically I know what the color is. So this is what the color target unity event component does. Thank you very much.